Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite sister girl, Tanya Latrice, and I am back with another hair video for you ladies today. We are doing a wash day routine on my relaxed hair. Ooh, ooh, ooh wee. Girl, it sure do need it though. Ooh, girl, then I got the gray hair popping up too. So we're gonna be doing a wash day routine. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the products that I use and all of that. And we're also going to mold our hair. And obviously, honey, we're gonna be doing a black rinse because my grains are showing, honey, and we can't have none of that. So let's go ahead and get right into the products that I will be using. If you're new to my channel, hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Oh, I am used, reusing the products I got from my Dork and Lovely box. So, Leah, I am using the, uh, <laughs> I'm using the shampoo, the fiber mask, and also the conditioner because why not? They, I paid for it. I'm also going to use the cholesterol. Good old faithful right here, okay, baby? This stuff right here, your grandmama, mama, mama, or maybe even you, honey, depending on our age, because y'all know I'm auntie age, so... I still use it, I absolutely love it. If you're looking for something, if you have dry hair, um, if you have like damage hair, you just want that extra moisture in your hair, cholesterol conditioner right there, baby. And um, y'all, we will be trying the infamous Nairobi. I ordered this off of Amazon, um, and it is Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. So I usually use a lot of body. I already told y'all I'm auntie. I usually use Lotta Body, but today we are going to try the Nairobi to see how that works out for us. I'm really excited. This is my first time using Nairobi, so we're gonna see how it wraps our hair. To follow that up with the Nairobi in it, before I put the Nairobi in there, I'm gonna use my favorite oil, y'all. I absolutely love this oil. I think it would be, girl, is the, girl, is it coming off? Girl, it is. It is. <laughs> It is the Oregon Morocco oil. Um, so it looks like this. If you're looking for this bottle, look for it on Amazon. That is where I got uh, got it from. I'll be sure to leave the link for all of the things that I have, honey, down in the description box. So you'll be able to find all of these products over there. Um, I'm also going to use these rapid hair wraps. Uh, I love these. They're super stretchy and they don't rip. In fact, you got to cut these suckers off your head with some scissors, okay? And to wrap our hair, we're gonna use a rat tail comb, or should I say to mold our hair, we're gonna be using a rat tail comb. I'm thinking about doing some little finger waves on the sides, and then we're gonna do like a cute little swoop, 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 or whatever at the top when we mold it. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into washing this hair because it's dry and I need She's making me feel way ooh, ooh. When I get around you, I lose it Lose it Cause I feel so comfortable Let you wear me inside 
Okay, y'all, so we have the conditioner in there and we're gonna take this regular old grocery bag, don't act like you don't know, put it over our head and we're gonna let this sit on here for about 30 minutes or so. We're gonna rinse it out. Y'all, why did I forget to rinse my hair? You know you're supposed to rinse your hair while it is still dry. Wait, or is that... It's that dye. Let me go see, because I think I might need to rinse my hair. So hold on, let's go check. Okay, ladies, so I ran the bottle and it says that I can use on shampooed hair. So I know I have this conditioner in here, but baby, we're about to rinse this out. Because like I told you, I have some gray hair that I need to get rid of. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to do that off camera real quick and I'll be back once I am getting ready to rinse the conditioner out for the second time. See, that's why you have to read bottles, okay? Because... Maybe that's why I didn't stay so long on my grades last time. I didn't shampoo my hair first. <laughs> Good thing it didn't fall out. Well, let's go put our dye in and I'll be back. Love you. freshly washed and rinsed but i have to use the permanent one because girl my grays girl they so stubborn they still did not want to act right so i don't know next time we're just gonna um because rinse don't like me but let's add the oil in first i like to apply the oil first and make sure you rub it in really good this is gonna make sure your hair is extremely soft and shiny this way if you just want to wear your mold your mold as a style then you can still do that so yeah we're gonna do that make sure you put it in there real good don't look like i have none in the middle um but yes y'all know that i do all sorts of hair videos over here on my channel i also do some vlogs and things like that so if you like the type of content girl then go ahead and subscribe to my channel like this video and leave me a comment uh down below let me know what you think about my so now we're gonna go ahead and use the Nairobi um, wrap lotion and see what it is giving. Let's start squirting and see. I heard that it's really thick and everything. And yes, oh, 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 girl, that's, hold on, hold on. I, woo, hold on, that's, that was a lot, I was just going in. But um, I usually do use a lot though still. <laughs> in my hand, put it in and rub it in. You want to make sure you rub it in real good because you want to get all of your hair. Okay, I like to make sure mine is looking like this when I go to mold it, especially if I might wear it as a style. So, part your hair in the middle. I'm going to start off with my big tooth comb because I don't like to comb my hair with my thin tooth comb when it is um when it's wet you know just because it's relaxed and everything like that so i like to use the wide tooth comb first to get all of the kinks and stuff like that out and then we go in with the rat tail comb to like really smooth the hair down and everything so you're gonna need both of those combs i feel if you are relaxed and doing this style and y'all know what 
Girl, it is about time for me another relaxer. I think I need a little bit more on this side. So, I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to do the finger waves, but we're gonna try, so let's see. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna work. See, once you use the rat tail comb, it definitely smooths it out better, but I definitely suggest initially using the wide tooth comb. But this is just to make sure all your hair is nice and smooth. You wanna go over it with the red tail combs to make sure you get all of those extra kinks and stuff like that out. Oh. <laughs> At least that's how I like to do it, y'all, to get a nice, smooth look. And it also kind of helps me decide how I'm going to mold my hair. So it's looking like we're going to mold it over to this, this side. Okay, so we're going to take this hair and see if we could go ahead and do some finger waves. Like I said, I do need a new relaxer. I need another relaxer. I need to touch up on my roots. So I'm not sure how this finger wave session is about to go, but let's give it a try here. Oh, girl. It's, it's looking a little lumpy. It's looking a little weight, but I think it's gonna work. Let me go get my towel. Okay, I think it's gonna work a little bit, but I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's cool though, because I'm just doing it to have a little wave in my hair to mold it because I'm technically gonna curl my hair. So you guys will see that in my next video. We're gonna be um, styling my pixie cut. But right now, we're just going to do a little simple, like, wave in the front. Just like a big wave. Girl, it, it produced a lot of juice, that wrap lotion. <laughs> That is for sure, but yes, girl, it is time for me another relaxer. My first relaxer was September um, the 5th from when I relaxed my hair from being natural. But yeah, y'all, we ain't gonna be able to put too many waves in it because your girl need a relaxer. But that is our cute little simple mode for your short pixie style. And like I said, wearing it like this, having like a little swoop or whatever to it, you will definitely be able to, you know, wear it as a style. So let's go ahead and tie on our wraps. Because, baby, if you don't tie these wraps down, you can X out it being smooth, okay? <laughs> At least for me, that is. Sometimes if it's still not wet enough, just use a little bit of the wrap lotion like that to hold it down. Girl, I do use a lot of these, okay? Like I use a lot and then I go over the back. So I lap over the other one like that and I tie it in the front. See, you see how I said these are really strong? You could definitely tie it nice and, you know, tight enough to not stretch it out too much or, you know, anything like that. Oh! But as you can see, it's definitely flat. And then I'm going to go across the front also and tie it in the back like this. So... I think I might have to do one for the center. Now that's where it gets a little tricky. <laughs> this right here, this part right here is where it gets a little tricky. But what I do is, let me see if I can show you guys. I do like this. I'll put it like right there. And oh, 
Hold on. That broke. I thought and I thought and bragged on these and said how um strong they are. It's gonna break on me. But hold on. But we tie it around like this and just come around to the front like that. And that's gonna make sure that it um stays in place and stay nice and tight. So yeah, guys, that was my wash day routine um, on my relaxed hair. I just wanted to show you guys everything that I have been using. Um, I do use a different type of shampoo and conditioner also, but we will save that for our next wash day routine video. Um, and also ladies, make sure that you go and pick this oil up. Again, it is on Amazon. I will leave it down in the description box below and also my review on this Nairobi so far I like it um I think that it's thicker than a lot of body which is usually the styling um foam and lotion that I usually use so I don't know I'll let y'all know um once it dries and everything and I come back to the camera and we check out the mold then and I'll let you guys know my full review hey y'all hey I am back for the reveal of my mold style it is the next day um y'all see i didn't already did my little face or whatever it got on my cute little outfit i am ready for my day so let's go ahead as y'all can see i tie a um do rag on my hair at night instead of okay got a little line in it but i can still wear it like this today yeah we can still wear it like this what y'all think how does it look is it giving? Is it cute? I probably got to put a little something there. But it pretty much did what it needed to do. The shine is amazing, y'all. And I'm going to say that it is the Nairobi because when I mold my hair with a lot of body, it definitely does not give the shine that it is giving right now. Um, So, yeah, I'm going to say I will probably continue to use the Nairobi um foaming lotion because I just love how my hair feels y'all it's so soft I don't know if it's a combination with the oil and the foaming lotion but baby when I tell you my hair is so soft it is so soft y'all so that will be the end of today's video y'all for this little um wash day routine and showing y'all how I mold my pixie cut and everything like that y'all so yeah i'm about to head on out for my day and i will see you ladies in the next video love y'all bye